Hi everyone, welcome to day 29 of the speaking challenge. Today I feel so happy and so surprised and I'd like to share my feelings with you because today I suddenly realized that six months ago I made my first speaking video. And since then I've made more than 100 videos so far. So tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, I will have made my 120th video. I still can't believe that. It's so unreal. I, it really beats me. I can't understand how could I do all of them, but I'm so happy. And uh, today I watched my video of day one of the September speaking challenge as uh, Jonathan suggested us in uh, had suggested us in his letter and it was so interesting to listen myself again to hear all the mistake i had made so uh, within my practice but whatever it's okay and it was so interesting to uh, listen to listen to my things again that i wanted to convey and uh, I wanted to share with you and there was two interesting things that I'd like to mention about again first was about my um, my interest of uh, learning the world history by watching the, um, the by watching the lectures YouTube, YouTube lectures about fashion art and uh, style and it's so true it's so true because you know by watching these um, lectures about fashion i i've got to know so many interesting historic or historical facts i mean the facts about the world history for example about medieval ages about renaissance about 20th century and about 21st centuries and for example today i watched a short a video about beatniks from 60s and actually it's so interesting that beatniks were antecedents of the contemporary hipsters that we can observe nowadays around us but beatniks represents intelligence and I would say good manners. They love to mm, go to coffee shop and uh, listen to jazz music, very intellectual music, right? And all these overweight, or oversized coats and jackets that we like to wear today were came from the beatnik subculture, just like uh, just like um, the black skinny unisex pants they all um they also um, came came out of the beatnik subculture right but what i like the most about the beatnik subculture is that they were a person the prettiest one for me um, she uh, she was an hollywood actress the charming one and um, her name is Jean Jean Serberg and I really admire of her personality she was so so beautiful not beautiful but charming it's a little bit different things I I I like uh, I don't know I find charming people more attractive I don't know why so but she also was so smart and so intelligent. She spoke several languages, including French and uh, Italian. And uh, you can find her interviews in French on YouTube. And she was so smart, so, so very well. I don't know how to say it. She has so nice courtesy. Courtesy, can I say that? Or when people very well mannered. But unfortunately, her story ended up very dramatically. I would say it was very fatal end. And uh, 
Jean Serberg's story for me is a clear example of how authorities and uh, mass media can ruin people's lives just because they, just because of their opposite social devotion or position. I would say like that. Um, actually, she lived in Paris for many years, but I just wanted to share with you some things that I've got to know from um, watching these fashion lectures, right? And um, another thing that uh, I found out while watching my <laughs> video of day two of the September speaking challenge was about my interest that can be changed or expanded uh, in this month. And it's very interesting, I can say that my interest really has been expanded because now um, I'm working on my um, time, timing or time management on my schedule of, um, of some preparations for exams and uh, I now, now I write uh, down all the things I uh, come up with uh, in my diary. It really helps me to make a clear vision of my short and middle and long-term goals. And I seriously, and I seriously started thinking about my preparations for the TOEFL and GRE exam. Uh, I hope <laughs> when I complete or when I finished my planning um, I'll start my exam preparations what else so <clears throat> I also made some um, pitches can I say that or drafts for my not independent essay but for my my personal essay in um, in order of applying to study at university but there are so many work I must I must do so it's just my planning for the future and this is also my um, my very profound and deepest interest interest yeah so um, what else I can say? Um, I'm really happy to be part of this challenge and I want to thank all of you guys and I really would like to um, keep practicing within this challenge in October. So um thank you very much <laughs> i'm so happy i just don't know what to say thank you very much and see you tomorrow have a nice day or morning evening or night everyone enjoy yourself and bye bye